Hi, my name is Danny Kim and I've been living in Seoul for about 20 years and today I'm going to show you some tips about public transportation within South Korea. South Korea has one of the best public transportation systems in the world and within Seoul you can literally get anywhere just by bus or subway. Now there are two main ways you can ride the subway in Seoul. First is a single ride card and the other is a rechargeable T-Money card. So we are here in the subway station and here you can buy single ride cards or recharge or rechargeable cards at any one of these machines. Now these machines are located in every subway station in Seoul and today I'm going to use it to buy a single ride ticket to Hongi University which is one of Korea's hottest tourist locations. So you can pick your language here and I'm going to pick English today and then pick single journey ticket, select Hongi University as my destination one journal ticket and then insert my cash. So I got my single ride card and we are off to Hongik University. Thank you. Thank you. So I just took the subway and we have arrived at Hongik University Station. And if you're using a single ride card like I just did, then you can get your deposit refunded at the deposit refund machine, also located in every subway station. So you just put the card in here. And here is my deposit. However, if you're planning to stay in Korea for a while and you're planning to use a lot of public transportation, I would suggest you use the rechargeable T-Money cards instead of the single ride cards as it can be more convenient and can save you a lot of money. For example, say you're transferring from a subway to a bus and vice versa. If you make the transfer within 30 minutes, you can get on your transfer ride for free. Just make sure you tag your card on the bus when you're getting off or you won't be able to get those benefits. And one more thing, uh, you can make your own personalized T-Money cards using these OPA card kiosks located in major subway stations inside Seoul. So I'm going to try to make an OPA card right now uh, using this station. First you have to scan the QR code right beside here. So let me just use my phone. And once you scan this QR code, it takes you to the OPA card website. And here you can choose your picture of your choice to create your card with. So right now I'm gonna choose BTS, a picture of BTS, and line up my picture. And you can also enter a special message in the card and it gives you a QR code. Now what do you do with the QR code? You go to the kiosk and you can check your language again and you pick my photo transportation card and here you just put the QR code to the machine and here's my picture it's right away right so click OK and you have a variety of options you have a variety of options to uh, make your payment I'm gonna select credit card and then pay 6,000 won. So there you go. This is the BTS card that I just printed. So you can pick any picture you want. It can be other artists, it can be uh, scenery or even pictures of yourself. And you can bring home a very special souvenir for yourself from Seoul. So look at the quality of these cards that I just printed off of that kiosk. They are actually really good quality uh, considering the price it's only 6,000 won which is about 6 US dollars. So it's a very nice way to get around more conveniently and also save a little bit of money as well as have your own unique souvenir. So that's it for today. Uh, I showed you around some tips about public transportation in Korea. I hope this video has helped you a lot. And signing off, my name is Danny Kim and enjoy your stay in Korea.